Wide eye, we're all in a great mood. Why don't you join in with our groove? Play whatever you like. Really gentle, as soft as you can. Can you get it even softer than that? I bet you can. Yeah, nice. Lovely. Now, what is the opposite of soft? Yeah, it's nice and loud. So are you ready to get a really nice loud groove going? After the count of four, are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, here we go. Absolutely brilliant. Great to see you again. So it's Friday. Yay. And we're here to do some more drumming. Hey, remember this nice image we had here yesterday. We had Rob with us yesterday. Um, Rob was only able to join us yesterday this week because Rob is also a teacher in a school and his school is doing lessons during school time. So he is teaching um, music today. Um, so he's not able to join us today, but he's left us this lovely image for us to remember where it was. Remember it was in Mali. Do you remember that? And Mali is in West Africa. Now, these drums that we've all been using, so I've got one, Raoul's got one, Costas has got one, Fred's got one today. Um, do you remember what this drum was called? Do you remember what it's called? And also, can you have a go at, on the comments, remember if you asked your grown-ups first, on the comments, could you write down what you think this is, um, how you spell the name of this drum? That'd be great. Write that down. How you think this? You spell the name of this drum. First, we've got to remember what it's called, but then see how you can remember how. See how I go at spelling it. That'd be great. So, yesterday um, we learnt some different rhythms, and actually, I just thought I'm going to start with Tim's rhythm because otherwise, the first rhythm has got the name of this drum in it. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're going to give you a chance to write that down. So Tim's rhythm was. Play this on the bell, play this on the bell. So Tim, tell you what, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, there we go. So Tim, can you show us again? Play this on the bell, play this on the bell, play this on the bell. Thank you, Tim. So if you have anything that is metal, if you've got a saucepan or anything you're using, um, not the stick, so the stick can be anything, but if it's the thing you're hitting is metal, then you can copy Tim's bell part. And then when we had the part that Rob taught us yesterday as well, which was that wonderful food they get in um, West Africa called jollof rice. And it was just jollof rice, jollof rice, jollof rice, jollof rice. Do you remember that? That was great. And then the other rhythm that Fred taught us, um, and uh, that rhythm has the name of the drum in it. And let's see, hey, we've got some people answering. Yes, they are saying the answer to this drum is called a djembe. We've got that right, brilliant. So tell you what, still, if you can still spell it, because maybe some people, you know, we want to see if we all get the spelling um, right. There might be a few variants of the spelling as well. So you put that in the comments as well. So remember, we did play the djembe, play the djembe, play the djembe, play the djembe. Do you remember that's what we did? Yep, yeah, cool. Right, now, um, so... Um, we also did a bit at the very beginning of the piece, the call and response, where I played on my drum, call and response, and then you copied it and played it back. So it's call and response, 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 call and response. I think that was four. I lost count in the middle, but on, we we're going to do it four times each. Then we go into our grooves. When we go into the grooves, you can play whichever one of those three grooves you want. You can do play the djembe or jollof rice or play this on the bell. How do we know when to stop? What do we do to stop? Do you remember? Because remember, when we did samba, we had me counting down from four to one. If we don't do that for West African drumming, remember we have a master drummer. And the master drummer plays 
play the djembe and shout Africa stop and we all have to fit that hit that final stop note together. Shall we give it a go? Shall we have a go at playing this whole piece all together starting with the call and response? Here we go. Call and response. Call and response. Call and response. Call and response. Here we go, the grooves. Play the djembe. Play the djembe. done everyone that was great well done well remembered everything we've done so far now we've got another bit of west african drumming we're going to do today and it's called playing a solo we love solos because basically in a solo you can play whatever you like there are no rules for solos so look we're just going to show you um so what we're going to do um we are going to all play a solo together at the same time. So I'll go one, two, three, four, whatever instrument you've got, we're all gonna do it. Just play whatever you like for as long as you like. Ready? One, two, three, go! <laughs> Stop! Hey, now, you know what? That was kind of all right. Um, but they're called solos and we didn't do it solo then. We did it all together. So the way it works in the music is like this. We take it in turns to do solos. Now we're going to demonstrate this first as us as facilitators. So what happens, um, we, we are all going to clap together and we're going to do eight beats, eight claps together. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to play our grooves for eight beats. So it could be like, play the djembe, play the djembe, play the djembe, play the djembe. And then we get back to doing the eight claps, okay? So shall we just practice that with me just a moment? So it's going to start with a clap. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Play the djembe, play the djembe, play the djembe, play the djembe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Play the Get the idea now this is what happens during those eight beats of claps we take it in turns to do some solos so this time don't join in just watch us as our facilitators um the five of us here we're going to demonstrate how this works with um playing together so i think the order we're going to do our solos in i'll do the first solo and then raul can do the next one then tim then costas then fred um that's what we'll give it a go doing okay so we're going to start with our claps first here we go one two three four five six seven groove my solo It's great fun doing it. So we've had a go at doing it. So now we need you guys to have a go at doing it. So we're going to just do the claps. We're not going to do any solos this time. It's your chance to do the solos. But 
don't all do a solo at the same time like we just showed then if there's more than one of you wherever you are now can you decide who's going to go first who's going to go second who's going to go third who's going to go fourth maybe there's a lot of you there maybe you've got a big family so we have i think six different opportunities to do solos that's the way we're going to work it so you could if there's only a couple of you you could each get a turn at doing it a few times as well which would be really really good so let's see if we can get this all working together are we ready we're going to start with the clap so i'll go three four we start with the claps whoever is the first solo goes straight in with their solo here we go three four one two that's a nice solo here we go let's hit the groove next person solo go three four five six seven eight go next person solo brilliant well done everyone now we've got gem base we've got the bell but we also have some other things we're going to go to tim first um let me just unmute tim so we can hear him really clearly i'm going to spotlight tim so tim what have you got Hi. to show us today i've got this this is a very strange looking thing isn't it it's um a thing off a tree the big piece here inside it called the good and this is a net with some shells on it you can see they're all on there and you can hear of course, it rattles and makes a lot of noise. So you can use this as a shaker. So you can shake it like this. You can tap it with your hand as well. And you can play it by tossing it from one hand to the other. Like that. That's how it works. Wow, that is such fun. Um, we, <laughs> I love those. Um, we were having a bit of a discussion yesterday about what it is called. And I gather in West Africa, it can be called various different names. So we're just going to call it an African shaker today. Um, great. And also, Costas, you've got something that you can show us as well. Um, so let me just spotlight you first, Costas, so we can see you bigger. What have you got there? So I have my Sakara drums, different sizes. This drum comes from Nigeria. And when you buy the drum, they usually have a high pitch. But there is a very unusual way to tune this drum low by take out those things and then the pitch goes down and the way I played I'm gonna mute it with my thumb and also this one is a clay drum made out of clay and animal skin so I'm gonna play something for you That's brilliant. Thank you, Costas. And I tell you what, that is really quite like one of the instruments that we had when we did samba, the tambourim. It's maybe slightly bigger than a tambourim, um, but do you remember we had that tambourim? In fact, I think it was Costas who taught us that tambourim rhythm before. So a lot of this history, it works really well because you had a lot of people who lived in West Africa, who were slaves in West Africa, and they were then taken across to um, South America. In fact, that's probably the right way for you, isn't it? From Africa to South America. They were taken across over there and uh, they then started carrying on the same kind of music that they were used to and developing it further. So that's why we see a lot of West African rhythms being very similar to Brazilian rhythms because the Brazilian rhythms are kind of just a development of them as well. It's really good. Now, I also have something to show you today as well. And um, this drum is really exciting because this drum is called a talking drum. Now, normally, you see, you kind of think, well, drums can't talk. But you see, what's really clear about this drum is that it does sound a little bit like you're talking. And it's got leather at both ends. And it's got, as you can see, loads of strings on the outside. You also have this really unusual looking stick to play it with. If I put it underneath my arm and if I hold it fairly loosely, I get this kind of sound. 
If I then squeeze it, I get this sound. And then depending on how hard I squeeze it, I can get some notes in between. It's amazing, isn't it? So, I said this is called a talking drum. So this drum is going to play you a message. I want you to see, can you work out what this message is? If you think you've worked it out, can you put it in the comments on YouTube so you can work out what this is? Because I think this is a message you will all understand. Did you work it out? Anyone work out what that message might be? Let's we'll have to wait a couple of seconds for other comments to come through because there's a slight delay in the sounds that we've got here. So let's see if anyone's can work it out. Um, oh, we've got Kathy from Pittsburgh. She says, what a cool drum. Um, maybe she's referring to Costa's drum, not the one I had. So let's see if anyone can work out what that is. So we, while we wait for those comments to come through, we are going to um, have a go at putting our whole piece all the way through. And there's a lot that our whole piece has got in now because we have, um, starting with our call and response, then we have our nice little grooves to play the djembe or John Loft Rice or play this on the bell. We have those grooves playing there. Um, and oh, Costas, have you got a bell today? Um, yeah, cool, because you can put the bell in because um, then that means that Tim can play the shaker. That'd be nice. Um, and then, oh, we're then going to do some solos and then we're going to finish with a bit of groove as well. So we're going to put it all together. Um, so let's just see before we play, has anyone commented, anyone recognised what that was? Hey, Chris Howard. Um, Chris Howard has said, it's happy birthday. I tell you what's lovely here. I'm getting all these people say, it's happy birthday. It's my birthday on Sunday. And that's why I played it that. So it's loads of people all over the country saying happy birthday. Thank you very much. That's brilliant. Cool. Right. So there we go. You recognise what that was. So great fun talking drums. So let's put our whole piece all the way through. Starting off with a call and response. So here we go. You ready? Two, three, four. Call and response. Call and response. Do a solo. Let's have a go. Who can do the next solo? Do a solo, girls. You crazy? Ooh, yeah. Um, so we've had such fun this week. We've actually done quite a lot this week. We started off doing some samba to begin with, and now we've done some West African stuff as well. And if you've missed any of the lessons, there's that lovely playlist on our YouTube channel. You can catch up there and watch it. And if you want to do anything again, that's great. You can do it whenever you want. That's the lovely thing about YouTube. You can do it whenever you want. Now, 
as we said all the time that you know we've said this 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 week that we would normally be in lots of different schools at the moment leading lots of workshops we work with with inspire which we work with about seventy thousand children a year in all different schools around the uk so we're not able to do that at the moment because the schools are closed so we're all self-employed so we literally have no money coming in at all for any of us um, we're not able to do any concerts or any gigs that we're normally doing as well so this is like we said it's a bit like online busking so if you are able to give us any money we know things are very tight for lots of people but if anyone is able to give us any money we'd be ever so grateful and there's the paypal link just in the description of this video which is paypal.me forward slash inspire uk um, and we divvy up that money at, at the end of the week so we can work out who's how much money we're each going to get which would be great also what's really exciting you know this week we said please can you subscribe to our youtube channel we were desperate to get to that 2000 mark we are now at that 2000 mark so we'd love to see even more people subscribing because then you'll get all the new videos all the time every time we post a new video you'll know about that straight away so you can really get into the drumming but also we're going to be here next week we're going to keep doing this next week the only day we're probably not going to do it is on good friday um because we will be concentrating um on lots of other things right actually having a holiday time then but we will be here next week to do lots of drumming and it's going to be drumming that doesn't come from brazil and doesn't come from west africa so you'll have to tune in on monday to find where this drumming comes from so we're going to have one little final playthrough just to finish off today and we're going to say goodbye now because we're going to fade out the video here so i'll be all ready here we go. two three four come and response. Come and response. Goodbye now, we're going to fade you out, so see you next week. Hope you have a lovely weekend. Thanks very much, everybody.